What is going on world? Welcome back once again. My name is Zach Novak and this is Zach Novak Plays Games. In today's video, this is going to be some form of, I guess, made up law. Law from my own mind. Law where I just sit, speak and tell you the truth. So roll the intro and I do hope you enjoy. There once was a guardian, noble, stoic, and honorable. He was unlike any other. He was part of the Seven, the original a Seven to receive the power, the light, the gift of the ghost. The Traveler didn't seek them out to give them this power. However, something did. Some form of destiny. Now, this Guardian, his name has been lost forever in time. What we do know is that he was once known as Novak. This stoic warrior was not part of an order. He wasn't part of a fraternity, a team, a faction, a group, or even an alliance. He himself was alone. He was part of the original seven, but those seven were scattered across the world. One to Australia, one to Brazil, one to America, one to China, one to Japan, another to Dubai, another to France, and the final one, it went to Germany. Now all these guardians received an ability, a power, a gift if you will, not straight from the traveler though, this was something else. This power, this gift, could possibly be a curse. We still don't know all the information about him, or what came before him, or even after. He was way before the collapse, way before the Traveler had even entered our solar system. So how did he get the power? How did the Seven get the gift of light. Well, we still won't know the secrets. However, there is an order known as the Novakians. The Novakians most likely were associated with Sir Novak. Now, this warrior that was lost, that we still don't know what happened to him. We don't know if he fell in battle if his might was not strong enough to overcome an enemy, or if his actual bold attitude to run into battle head first was his downfall. We know that he wasn't born as a guardian. We know he was born as a human. He didn't have an attendrial life. He hid himself would only live like a normal human. He couldn't actually stay alive for more than 80, 90 years. And in that time, he started to fight. He fought an enemy race. The Novakians came together. The order that stood before the gift was given, the order that stood with swords, axes and spears they didn't have power 
they had weapons. The enemies that they were facing, however, did have power. These enemies weren't like anything we've seen, unlike anything we know of now. But what we do know is that this enemy was more powerful than a thousand men. This enemy stood for something. He stood for the darkness. We all knew, we all knew that it was coming. We all knew, we, we felt it. We knew the collapse was coming. The difference is, the enemy didn't. When the enemy came, they brought the darkness. They brought the Siva. Now, in itself, we still don't know if the Siva is, is good. We know that it actually destroyed the Iron Lords. But in the time before Guardians, before really the Fallen had come, before the Elixni had become the Fallen, there was a power that this enemy had. He was capable of wielding great lightning of fire and void. This destruction this power, this influence. This is what started the original seven. Now, all the men had fallen. All the Novakians had been slain. Sir Novak stood there, stoic and loyal, waiting, hoping and praying that something, someone, somewhere, would give him the strength to actually take this enemy down. Now, he begged, he pleaded, and he let himself fall. He was struck by a giant void and fire blast. This in itself was capable of destroying any normal human being. However, in the time that he laid there, as his life force slowly drained from his body, as he could see this four-legged, two-armed, nine-foot-tall warrior standing there, stronger than he was, it had beaten him. He was done. Or was he? The light there was a blinding light. We remember seeing something. We don't know what it was. All we know is this, this enemy's gone. Novak was able to beat it with one punch. It wasn't even, I, I don't even know what he did. It seemed like all the rage, all the power, Everything had built up, and he smashed his fists into this enemy. This concussion wave, this blast, this explosion had come. His body was riddled with damage. Sir Novak was bleeding. He had almost no life force left. When he reached down to grab this enemy by the throat. It spoke. It said, You are the destruction of light. The darkness knows the truth. They're coming. Before a white mist faded from his body. Everyone thought it might have been his soul. Novak stood there, staring. He knew it was not just a soul. This was life force. This was the power 
he needed. He slay any enemy that came in his path. Over time, his powers grew from just his concussion fists to being hammers of fire to being swords of void to being bows of lightning. He himself channeled all different abilities. He wasn't a guardian. He was a protector. Sir Novak has been lost in time, but the lore and the history behind him will always stand. I know he's out there somewhere. He's not done. There, there is a truth, a secret that no one knows, that no one will know for millennia. Until we have some form of a collapse, yet again, we won't know what exactly is going on. Now, the Siva was actually risen from a point in time where light and dark met. This was a point in time where so Novak had to question what his actual loyalties were. Would he rather stay and fight for his people? Or would he venture out and try to protect the world? He took a chance. He went out and he left. Many others braved days, nights, weeks and months searching, trying to find him. No one could. It was as if Novak had just disappeared just like the life force of this enemy. Now, this enemy in itself was unlike anything. It was powerful, it was stoic, and it was different. The fallen, we see the vandals that have two arms, then there's the vandals that have four arms. Now, the Elixni, they've been coming to this planet for many years. They, in themselves, were givers. They were honestly nice. They were good. They had a civilization that was unlike anything we could imagine. Their abilities to actually grow from what they originally were is amazing. Sir Novak may be lost, but his law will always stand on. But his law will always stand on. With the Novakians, the clan in which is alive today, my clan, the clan that I had started, if you want to know the truth, I am Novak, and the darkness has combined with the light. The time in which guardians need more power, more access to abilities, the darkness can provide. The light. The light is a joke. We, th we see it as an eternal life force. We see it as something that will always protect us. But if you look at it from the outside, it's always someone watching you. You're never protected. You're always, always in a chance of danger. The Traveler has died, and the Speaker, well, he speaks for the Traveler. Now, death for the Traveler is a lot different than death to a Guardian. A Guardian can be rest, they can be revived, 
their ghost can bring them back to life. But the traveler. So, now hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. This little made up lore where I just kind of babbled about things. Now I did actually have a few ideas in Possibly mind. This has kind of been swiveling in my mind for a while. And yeah, the Novakians, Sir Novak, in the pretty cool guy, city. don't you think? Sounds pretty awesome. I myself want to be a stoic guardian like himself. When Rise of Iron drops, time getting that Iron Lord gear, to stop possibly, hiding. possibly, time for us I could look like him. Step down I don't know, from our high but again, from our this high is Zach Novak. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this random video. It is very different, but again, it's some law. Made up lore, we even if it is made up lore, it's still law. Because we're different. It's not really because canon so much. These but uh, yeah, it kind of goes off Possibly a few different topics. So, of us. if you have enjoyed, Possibly share this video around. Subscribe to the channel for more lore videos. But again, and more Destiny videos. Most likely I have a challenge going up at some point, either to tomorrow. Oh It'll be tomorrow. Because I've got a shout-out video that we just went up. We see the this video is now going up. Another shout out video is going to be going up a little bit later. Forever. But again, this is Zach Novak. Sometimes Do all that good stuff down below. Leave a like, leave time. a comment. Let me know what you guys and actually think darkness. of this video because honestly, I don't know what it is. Uh, it's, yeah, it's different. It could lead you Once again, this is Zach Novak. Do all that good stuff, and I'll be cheering like Kieran if he was Ed Sheeran. But until next time, this is Zach Novak, signing off, peace out. Catch your breath and you sleep now.